What's up, everybody? This is your girl, April, and I'm here to do a Married at First Sight review. Now, just to give you a little bit of um, insight on my channel, I will be reviewing a few shows that I enjoy, such as Married at First Sight, which I'm talking about today. I'm also going to do probably Ready to Love and maybe Married to Medicine. I think that may be all I can handle right now. I do work full time and I am a single parent, so I have to really juggle my time. But I do enjoy watching these shows. I've been watching them for years, so I have a lot of insight on it. But I'm also going to do a little spin as well. My spin is going to be... I'm going to do a reading on some of these couples to see if they are going to last, see some, get some background on them, um, just to kind of kind of see, you know, get some insight what the universe um, sees for these couples. Um, I'm probably going to do that in a lot of my reviews because I am a reader. I do reading, I do intuitive readings, I do card readings, I do human design readings. Hit up your girl at April underscore D underscore Harrison on Instagram if you want to schedule a reading with me. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the review. So I'm going to start with um, talking about the cup, um, the couples. Before I start talking about the couples, I want to talk about them individually. Um, so I want to start with Alexis. Um, Alexis came across to me very bubbly. Now, bear in mind, um, let's just see. Let's just get a good little look at some of these people. Here's Alexis right here. Um, she's the one holding the glass up. Very pretty girl. Um, I like her. Um, she has a very bubbly personality. Um, however, what I do get from Alexis is that she may be scared of commitment because on the show, they talk about her having a few engagements and she never um, was able to make it through. Um, on the preview, I did also see her kind of crying. So I'm not really sure, you know, what, what she's going to, I think she's going to be a big ball of emotions. I think um, I saw that on the preview as well, but I, I, I know she's going to go through it, of course. But I feel like she's going to be, if she's not attracted to her husband, I feel like she may bolt or if anything kind of comes like that she may see as problematic, I think she may bolt. I don't know, but we'll see. Um, but I like her so far. Um, I think um, she's a good addition to the show. I think she's going to bring a lot of spunk. I think she's going to bring some of the sass. So we'll see how it goes with Alexis. The next one would be here, which would be Stasia or Stacia. I like Stasia. I think that she's going to be um, she's going to be very rigid in how she views things. I know she's a big person on finances. She's an accountant, and um, she comes with her list of requests. And um, they, if they don't meet the request, she's like, out. She's like, don't waste my time, which I don't blame her. Um, I'm a Virgo, so I'm kind of like that too. But I, I like Stacia or Stacia. I, I think she's going to be good. I don't know how she's going to like her husband um, on here because I feel like if he does not meet her standards, it's going to be a problem. So. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes with Stasia. Um, since I'm talking about females, we just keep going down the down the road with the females. Um, Morgan, right here. I like Morgan. She's a tomboy. Um, I feel like she she's she likes health. Um, I feel like she's very. She might be a little you know, like an aggressive, like she kind of knows what she wants and she's not going to really, you're not going to, you know, break her from that. And that may be because she, um, in, in this particular episode of matchmaking, she was very, very, very like into fitness and, and I saw her fighting. So, um, which is a good thing because I need to be out there with her. But I feel like she's going to be that type of girl that's not going to really be you're not, she's not going to be easily swayed. So I don't know if she's going to be a person who will be compromising, easily compromising. Um, and you're going to, 
you're going to have to, I think her husband is going to have to be the type of man that is going to be able to be patient and to, um, but also stand his ground because he can't be like a pushover either. Um, the next girl is Lindy. Lindy, I like Lindy. So far, I like Lindy. I think Lindy is going to be the type of girl that she likes social. She likes, seems like she likes to socialize. She seems like she likes to be around her friends. Um, she's going to need a husband who is going to be okay with her socializing, um, who's also going to be into being very social, having parties and cocktails and brunches. If he's not into that, it may be it may cause a hiccup in their relationship because I don't see her getting to the point where she'd be out of that. I think she's in her late twenties. So I don't see her getting out of that mentality, so to speak. So I have high hopes for Lindy, but I don't know if she's ready to break away from her friends just yet. We shall see. Um, and the last one is Kristen. I like Kristen. She's into yoga. She's into the whole namaste type vibe. Um, what did I say? What did I think on her? I think she's going to be, she's going to make it work. Um, I know she has some trust issues because I think her, her um, ex-fiance um, cheated on her. And that caused a lot of trust issues. It kind of sent her in a tailspin. So whoever she's hooked up with, whoever she's with, she they she needs to be able to trust them. So that's going to be a big deal for her. And I feel like if he doesn't line up, if his words and his actions don't line up, it may cause some type of a, it, it, it may cause her to be like, I'm not dealing with this at all. And she, and she would probably say no on decision day. I could see that. So on to the fellas. Let's see. The first one I'm seeing right now is Ben. Um, ben, he's cool. He's very rigid. He's a mama's boy. I see that already. He is very much so a mama's boy, which ain't nothing wrong with that, but it's a special type of female that has to handle a mama's boy. And I don't know if Ben, um, if, if his mom doesn't like his wife, I don't see Ben wanting to stay with her. She, his wife is going to have to be big on family. Um, she's going to be, have to be able to be very thrifty with him. So it's no like luxury. <laughs> if you're going to get with Ben, don't expect luxury because he ain't about to, you know, have no five-star dinner. He is a coupon cutting man. So if you're going to get with Ben or whoever his wife is going to be, you better be good with Ben cutting his coupons, being Mr. Frugal. But Ben does have a master plan. Ben says he wants to retire at 40. So I have to respect that. But as for me, me and Ben would not be a match because I like to go on nice vacations. I like luxury. I like the finer things. And I don't know if I could subscribe to wait into your 40s or so to retire to be able to deal with that. So that's just me. That's your girl. Um, but I like Ben and I feel like a particular woman and him would make a great couple. Um, Justin, Mr. Tall Guy in the back. Justin, um, I like him. He's very sensitive. Um, yeah, he's very sensitive. He seems like he's very um, considerate. I feel like he might be a little bit passive, though. Um, only reason I say that is because I feel like he would be very cautious in wanting, you know, wanting to please his wife, which is great. You want to definitely please your spouse, but I feel like he might um, not be as direct as he needs to be um, in a relationship. And I mean, I don't know how in a, uh, of an ineffective of a communicator he's going to be. So we're, we're going to see the verdict is still out on Justin. I just know that he is very, very sensitive and he is not afraid to cry. 
which is not bad for a man. Nothing wrong with crying. Um, but I feel like um, it has to be a particular woman who's okay with that because some women are into really like quote unquote manly men. And if he shows any type of sensitivity is like a a red flag for them, he might he might be considered weak, which does not make him weak, ladies. A man that cries. Now if he crying all the time and you know y'all talking and he just busts out crying, now there may be some type of medical issue <laughs> that may be keeping him making him cry or you know he may be very sensitive or something I mean extremely since I don't think I can deal with a man who just cries at a drop of a dime every time like I don't want us to be having an argument and then you start crying and making me feel bad because I got an opinion and I feel like I hurt your feelings all the time like no I couldn't handle that so but I don't think that'll be Justin hopefully not We'll see. Um, the next one is Nate. Nate, I said in my notes, Nate is a walking red flag. So to me, he was coming off to the experts and he was kind of being a little salesy. And that always um, is a red flag for me because I am very familiar with sales and people in sales come say, you know, they will tell you what they want you to want you to you know want you to hear they're going to pick up on some of your cues and what maybe you may be looking for and because I want to get on the show I'm going to say what I need to say to get on the show but I really ain't like this so I don't know about Nate he is he's just really coming across a little red flaggy to me and I don't know I don't think he was a good fit for the show I'm hoping he's not going to be like Chris, like the Chris and Paige situation. I'm hoping he's not going to be that much of a, you know, a conundrum. But I don't know. I don't believe nothing that come out of Nate mouth for some reason. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. But we shall see. Um, but I just don't. I don't. I don't believe him. Um and if he's not attracted to his wife, best believe it's not going to be a pretty sight. I can guarantee you that. So the next one is Miguel. This is Miguel. He's a sweet guy. He's very in touch with his, his feminine side. He's very family oriented. He's, he's a nerdy guy. He likes Dungeons and Dragons. Um, I have no idea what Dungeons and Dragons is. I, well, I've heard of it. But I don't, I don't, I've never heard of the game or, you know, any grown man playing the game. Like I could see my son playing the game, but I wouldn't necessarily, you know, he's in the comic books. So, you know, you, if, I think he will make a great husband. I think he's going, but it has to be a woman who is appreciative of all his quirkiness. If she's not into the quirky side of him and those type of things, I think, um, I think it, I think it would, I don't think it's going to make him feel good. If, if, um, and I don't think, and I think it would deflate him, basically. Um, if I'm being honest, I think it, it may be a, a it may you know, come at his confidence a little bit because he's very, you know, in touch with his feminine side. So I know he's looking for someone to balance him out. Um, so we'll see. Um, I just hope that he, because he's so nice and I hate for, you know, I hate for the nice guys to get beat up on and I hate for the nice, nice guys to, um, you know, have a, have a raw deal on here because I just feel like, you know, it's just, it makes me feel bad when I see, you know, nice guys on Married at First Sight and they get some, you know, crazy, you know, relationship when they all they really wanted was a family. And then, oh, my gosh, they get a girl or a wife who just doesn't. Who just doesn't like him and they treat him like trash like that. I don't like it. Um, so I'm hoping that's not going to be Miguel's fate and married at first sight so we'll see um on that as well and the last guy is mitch mitch is the 
the OG of the crew. He's 41, which I don't think is old, but um, for Merida at first sight, it might be a little elderly. <laughs> so, um, hmm. I would say with Mitch, um, he's very, he's looking for like a family like today. So his wife has to be okay with the family. She better be very environmental conscious because he is trying to save the oceans, the whales, the, you know, from plastic. And, you know, he is very environmental conscious. So she has to be very open to that if she's not doing that. Um, but um, he also likes to surf and do things, outdoorsy things. So that is going to be a big thing for him, I believe. So, but I think he's going to be an easygoing guy. But if she is a wasteful person or a person who does not recycle, then it might be a problem. So, yeah, that's my assessment on the couples, on the individuals. Now, let's go into the couples. So the first couple is Justin and Justin and Alexis. Yes. Now, married at first sight, I just feel like you all, if you see me looking down, I'm looking, I'm going over some of my notes, some of the stuff that I saw. Um, but married at first sight. You listen to your girl, and I'm, a, I'm and I've been watching since season one, so I'm 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 not new to this. I'm true to this. Just because there's the only black cup black people left, don't mean that the black people have to be together. Okay, okay, like it's okay if the it, I mean just because it's two black people, and if they may not be compatible, give them what they want, and I mean. I just feel like, I feel like they were like, oh, these are the last two black couples left. Let's give them, let, let's um, let them see what happens. And they may be doing it for ratings because they're trying to see, if, you know, if she's going to have a Hurricane K type situation. But I don't see that with Alexis. I don't think she'll be like a Hurricane K. I think she's very grounded. Um, so, but my assessment of Justin and Alexis. I think that if, I know Alexis says she wanted a manly man. Now, Justin is man, he's, he's a man, he's definitely a man. But like I said in my, you know, when I went down to my rundown, he's very, he's a sensitive guy. So if she views that as not manly, um, I don't know if she's going to like Justin. And I don't know if, and I feel like Justin, because he's so wanting marriage, he's like into this, like he stopped this whole home buying process for this married at first, should he get on married at first sight? And so he's, I think he's invested. However, if Alexis, because Alexis is the runaway bride, if she sees a red flag with Justin, I feel like she might go be complaining to her friends and just, you know, find she would nitpick every little thing. She probably like, he be crying, he do this. And I and I feel like even though she said that, you know, she's a 70-30 type girl where she likes 70% personality and 30% looks, I feel like that <laughs> will overshadow because she is a runner. Um, if she's not attracted to Justin, I don't think, I think him not being manly enough for her, would, I mean, it would be like building on top of each other and she'll be building a case as why she don't like him versus giving him a chance. Um, I don't know, but I think, you know, she definitely got the height. She said she wanted a man with height. She got her height. So um, I wouldn't have put these two together at all um but we shall see we shall see um now what will they make it hmm do i think they're gonna make it to the end to the, I, I definitely think they're gonna make it to decision day um 
my suspicion is that they probably won't make it. I don't, if they do say yes to each other, they ain't gonna stay together long. I don't see longevity in this relationship. So we'll see. I don't know. But I don't see Justin and Alexis making it. I think they can make it um, if, if Alexis gives it a chance because Justin's going to put his all into it. He's ready. Um, he wants to be in this relationship. So, but if Alexis, baby, <laughs> if she sees one little thing that she don't like, she is going to vote because you have to figure out why are these relationships not working out? Like these engagements, like she makes it to the engagement. She can lock down a guy to where he wants to marry her, but then she calls off the engagement. So it's a fear of commitment that's making me, that's giving me pause. Now she's being thrusted into the commitment, but it's going to be, how is, how is she going to stay in it? Because I feel like some of these couples on Married at First Sight, instead they, they try to make it to decision day. Um, seeing if they're going to make it to decision day versus like, you know, is this a person that I can see myself wrong with and being with um, for the long haul versus like, he, he didn't do this by decision day, I'm out. Like versus seeing somebody who is legitimately trying and legitimately want to be with you. So I don't know. We're going to see. Um, let me let me do a quick card reading on Alexis, Alexis and Justin. So one second. Let me shuffle my cards. Let's see. What is the vibration of Justin and, and Alexis's relationship? Um, I might just pull one card and just see what the one card is. So what is the vibration surrounding Justin, Justin and Alexis's relationship? One more shuffle. Okay. So I'm pulling my card. And I got uh, eight of hearts. So The Eight of Hearts isn't a bad card. Um, I feel like it's going to be, that Eight of Hearts is telling me that it's going to take some work. It's going to take some work, but I feel like that Eight is promising because it's, um, it's, it's saying that, you know, it's, it's going to take some work and it's going to take some, um, it's going to take a lot of, hmm. If I would say it's going to take Alexis to get beyond herself. Um, that's what I'm getting intuitively. It's going to take Alexis getting beyond some of the some of the thing hangups that she has. And um, then they could they could probably make it. Um, and I could, you know, it is not always. I feel like Alexis may not know exactly what she wants. Um, that card is telling me, she, I don't think she really knows what she wants, but she knows what she don't want. And um, if she goes through the process and you know breaks down her walls, I think she can make it. I think they can make it because he's in, he's in, he's in there for the long haul, but we shall see. So that's my, let's go to the next couple. Next couple, we have um, Nate and St Stasia, or Stacia. Um, I like Stacia because I feel like she may be a Virgo because she's very analytical. And she, I think they call her the overthinker, I think. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But she, she, gives me Virgo vibes. So I definitely understand how she is. She's very analytical. She's probably an overthinker, which is one of the Virgo traits. If you, any Virgo women out there, you know, it's, I mean, we are great at relationships. We, once we love, we love you. However, getting to that point of love, we have, we have weighed the pros and the cons. 
we have <laughs> thought three or four steps ahead. So it's not always the best way to be, but I, I see you, Stacia. I see you. We see each other, you know? Shout out to Nene. But I feel like Stacia and Nate, I feel like once Stacia, and I'm telling you, if she's a Virgo, or she got some Virgo on her chart, probably a lot of Virgo on her chart, once she smells a rat, she, I mean, she is going to bolt and she, they are not going to make it on decision day. She is not going to say yes on decision day. I, if they even make it to decision day, because she's very specific in what she wants. She wants a man who's financially secure. She's checking credit scores. So she's not going to be, she's feeling, she feels that the credit score is going to determine how responsible you are, which is correct. Um, now some people have some bad, you know, setbacks, some, something could have happened, bad investments, whatever, lost a job, anything could happen. So you have to kind of, you know, see the potential in the person, but I'm telling you, she may try to, you know, see the potential in Nate, but if he is throwing up the red flags to her, like I saw the red flags, I don't know, Nate. I don't know if it's going to work out. Um, I think they're going to be initially attracted to each other because they are an attractive couple. Um, but I feel like if she started seeing some, some problems, if he's not as financially secure as he has led her to believe or anything like that, you remember, like, <laughs> who was that? Um, Michael and oh god he was the liar and that girl I can't remember her name right now but she had braces and um Mika Michael and Mika Mika wasn't playing no games with Michael and Michael was a liar Michael lied about everything so if if Stacia is like that um like Mika she's going to, she's going to, um, she's going to, you know, she's going to dig and she's going to get the information she's looking for. And if it does not sound right, she's going to get, she's not going, she's not going to stand for that. She don't want a broke man. And I don't blame her. Um, especially when she's done well for herself. Um, I think she she's going into her marriage being very logical. And uh, in low key, I feel like Pastor Cal is trying to get her to like lower her standards. And I don't know how if I agree with that. If that's one of her things is that she wants a man who has a good credit score, who's financially secure. I think that she shouldn't she shouldn't um, relax that. Um, I mean, he don't have to have an 800. But if you think about it, marriage marriage is a um is a business it's a contract you're entering in, into a contract with the person so that person can bring down your credit that person can you know destroy some of the things you want you know you work so hard for um especially if you don't have a prenup so um i feel like she's right in being um very methodical in how she's thinking um because marriage is I mean, it, as much as love, you know, <laughs> I, I believe in love. Um, I've been married, so I, I I married the I married a person that I love. Um, so I I get it. But when the finances are issue, it causes issues in the relationship. You know, it, it, I mean, it is. It, I mean, because why do you think that a lot of people get divorced? Is it could be fine? It's your finances. Um, that I think that's one of the number one reasons that people get divorced. So, I mean, she's being very smart about the situation. However, if you're gonna come on married at first sight, I mean, you can't be but so picky, you know. Um, hopefully, Nate um, alleviates my concerns because he came off like a salesman to me, like he just was saying things. And then the fact that his job, I don't know if anybody peeped that, was 
um, change during this episode. First, it said advertising and day trading. And then by the end of the episode, it was just day trading. So that to me, again, that's shaky. They should ain't trying to see shakiness in the job. Um, I don't think it's going, um, I don't, I don't know. I, I really don't, I don't know about this couple. Um, I, I definitely see where it could be sparks. I mean, if they're looking for a show, they should like give it to them because they might have some heated arguments. Um, so I don't know. I really hope I'm wrong because they are an attractive couple. Um, and I hope that if he is doing, because you can make a lot of money being a day trader. So if he's a, a legit day trader um, and he's really good at what he does, that can mean, you know, that can speak volumes for them. And I think Stacia likes the finer things in life. I don't know if she's as, you know, I don't know if she's as, you know, into it as Merla was, but I think she likes to find the things in life because she said, I want a guy to take me out to dinner, you know, make me wine and dine me, make me feel good, you know, make me feel, you know, like a lady. I mean, I don't blame you. I like that too. So like I said, I really, I really see a lot of myself in Stacia. So I hope that, you know, she gets the guy that she's looking for, but I'm cautiously optimistic. I got my eye on you, Nate. It's something about you. But let's just see. Let's see what the cards got to say about Nate and Stacia. What is the energy surrounding Nate and Stacia? See what the cards got to say. What is the energy surrounding Nate and Stacia? <clears throat> So we're going to pick one card. Two of diamonds. So I think it's going to be some financial issues. Um, there's going to be some questions that come up um, because that two of diamonds is saying it could be, you know, it could be a little bit of questions. It can go either way on, on this, on this, uh, With the finances, that's gonna it's gonna raise some concerns during this um, during this this um, this show during their marriage. So I don't know. We'll see. Let's see. I got my own unique next couple. <laughs> that is Ben and Morgan. I like Ben and Morgan. Um, hold on. I need to go get my charger. One second. My bad. This is my first video, so I want to make sure. Next time, I'll make sure my my piece, everything is plugged in. Okay. Ben and Morgan, I believe that's her name. Yeah. Um. Morgan is very headstrong. She's into health, she's into fitness. I see why the um, experts put them together because they're both into fitness. Had to wet my whistle. Ooh. Okay, I see why the experts 
Kate, ben, um, Morgan and Ben, because they're both um, into fitness. And, you know, they both are fam family oriented. Um, I think it could work. Um, I think they could would last long the long haul. The only caveat in this relationship is going to be the mother. If she does not get along with the mother, it's going to be a problem. Um, she comes across as very headstrong, and she said she you know wants things in her way. And I feel like Ben would give it to her, but if there's an issue with the mother. If the mother says something, it's going to trump everything. So, and if Morgan doesn't like that, she may try to set up a bound, you know, set up some boundaries with his mom. Um, and that could cause an issue. I think that if they get along, if the mother and Morgan get along, it's a done deal. Ben is in it to win it. It ain't gonna be no problem. However, if there's a issue as far as the mother and I get along with Morgan or the mother feeling some type of way, because you know, I have a son and you know, you mothers can be very, 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 um, you know, territorial over our sons. And you know, especially as close as they are. So hopefully she'll kind of step, take a step back and won't cause any issues in the relationship. But only time will tell. Um, I think I think it will work out um, if there's no issues with the mom. Because I think now, another thing was that they were both very, very rigid in their thinking and how they thought things. So if, I don't know, I, I, if neither one of them are willing to compromise, that might cause some friction too, because either one of them seems super accommodating. Um, and she wants someone to fit into her schedule. She said it plain as day. She wants someone to fit in her schedule. Baby, being married, you have to compromise. You have to compromise. It can't be about what you want all the time because somebody's going to end up being tired. It doesn't, I mean, they can be as comp accommodating, they can be as compromising and love your dirty draws. It's going to wear them out. So you have to be willing to compromise. So I hope for the best for these two. I think they're, a, they're an attractive couple. However, I don't know. I think I might have set Morgan up with Miguel. Because she said she liked nerdiness. And Ben's kind of nerdy, so that might work. I don't know. We'll see how this turns out. Let's see what the cards say. What the universe has to say about Ben and Morgan. What is the energy I got the clean hearts. Um, I feel like oh, <laughs> the queen of hearts could be the mama. Oh no. Um, so it could either be one or two things. The Queen of Hearts could the mother could be causing um coming in because that's like a motherly card. Um, that's someone who's very caring and benevolent and things of that nature. So if that Queen of Hearts is the mom, which he did describe his mom as being caring, that means there could be some um issues with the mom and Morgan or the mom you know, stick her nose in their relationships. Because like the Bible says, you have to leave and cleave. So you do then, my word of advice, you do have to, you know, you don't forget about your mom, of course, but you do have to leave and cleave to your wife. So you can't always be, you know, going to your mom with your problems. You can't always be going, you know, to her to vent. Um, It's a very slippery slope when it comes to, you know, especially mama's boys. It's a very slippery slope because you have, you want to, you love the fact that they love their mothers, but at the same time, I'm the wife. 
So in the hierarchy of things, it's me <laughs> and then you. And some mothers can't really get with that. So we'll see. Hopefully they'll get along. Stay tuned. Next couple is Kristen. Yeah, Kristen and Mitch. This is a cute little picture of Kristen and Mitch. I like Kristen and Mitch. I think they I think they would be a good couple. Look at her hand on his on his chest and stuff. He looks like goofy and you know, he looks very happy. So I think this is going to be a good couple. They were both doing yoga. Um, like I said, with I think um, Kristen's biggest issue is is if she can trust him. And I think you're going to be able to trust Mitch. I mean, look at that face. I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to trust Mitch. Um, I don't think he'll do anything, you know. Now, let's see how she is with being environmentally conscious because if she's if she doesn't care about the environment, that's going to pose a problem. So I hope that's going to be a bit, you know, something that she can, that she can do and that she cares about because that's going to be a problem, if not. So, um, hmm. I think, I don't see any red flags. Nothing really caught my attention with that. I think, you know, as long as he's trustworthy, I think she she's going to be, you know, she's going to try to make it work. And and especially she wants a family. He's going to, you know, that's that's a big thing for them. Um, she doesn't look like he said he one of his deal breakers was a woman who had big old hands. So she doesn't look like she has big old hands. So that's a good thing. Um, but I think Mitch and her will make a good couple. I think they would just have to, you know. I think he would have to definitely um, show and prove and you know, show that he's trustworthy and that he, um, he, she can trust him and that she wouldn't cheat on him. No, he wouldn't cheat on her. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, hopefully that'll be a good thing for them. I'm rooting for y'all. I am rooting for y'all. Let's see what the cards say. I'm going to do a quick shuffle. Let's see. I'm going to do a quick shuffle. Let's see. I'm going to do a quick shuffle. Five of Diamonds. So, Five of Diamonds has a lot of energy, a, a lot of energy around the finances. So, I don't know. Hopefully, that's not a, a bad thing. I hope no one loses their job or anything, or I don't know if. They're gonna have some blow-ups in the in the um that comes up as far as the finances or you know maybe career-wise, or maybe that's going to be you know a topic of discussion that's gonna be a point of contention for them. Hopefully not. I'm just seeing a lot of energy around it. So um maybe there's gonna be a lot, there's gonna be a change in careers, who knows? But I don't. I don't know if it's careers, it's, it's saying money because diamonds means money. So we'll see what's going on as far as them financially. Hopefully it won't be nothing too big that they can't handle. And I think this, hopefully that they would um, be able to work through those issues. So maybe it's trusting with the money. I don't know. We'll see. I don't see, I don't see it being horrible but as the season goes you know I, it, can, it can get real crazy as the season goes along so we'll see next couple is Miguel and Lindy Miguel this is nice picture of Miguel you look like a you know you looking like a snack Miguel yeah I like that Okay, so Miguel and Lindy. I like them both separately. I don't know how I feel about them together. We, we're going to see. Um, they're close in the picture, so that's always a good sign. She doesn't seem to be turned off by him. Um, 
and he seems like he's like, yeah, look at my wife. So he seen, he, I think there's an attraction there. So that's it. There's definitely attraction. So that helps. Um, now, as far as Lindy, in her, in her package, she, I mean, she had liquor in the freezer, which is nothing wrong with that. But she just seemed like she was a girl who liked to socialize, especially with her friends. They want to come over and hang out and have cocktails and, you know, get white girl wasted. So I don't know. I And I don't know if Miguel, because he's an introvert, and introverts usually, you know, that a lot of socializing drains an introvert. So I don't know. I don't know if Miguel is going to be, if she wants to do that, like brunch every Sunday, you know, wind down Wednesdays and stuff like that is going to probably, you know, drain Miguel. And he's probably going to be like, look, your girl can't come over another day. And I don't know if she's going to get turned off about his Dungeons and Dragons. I mean, he did dress up like a little teddy bear. So I don't know what kind of animal, if he like has costumes and stuff. So I don't know if that's going to wear her out. Hopefully she likes his quirkiness. I think he's a nice guy. So hopefully she likes his quirkiness. But if it turns her off when she starts seeing it, because you know, y'all remember how Haley and Jacob were. Um, as soon as Jacob saw that house with the 80s attire and stuff, she was like, mm-mm, mm-mm, this ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna work. So hopefully that won't be their testimony. Um, I, I, I don't know. I hope he didn't bring any costumes on the honeymoon. Um, Cause Lindy might be like, oh no, mm -mm. no, I can't do it. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see, you know, with them. I think, I think if she loves that he's nerdy and, and quirky, that that's gonna be a plus because I think he's going to, he wants a woman who's very feminine. Um, he wants to, I think he, he's going to want to spoil her and, and things of that nature. So I think that if she can deal with his quirkiness and deal with his nerdiness and play Dungeons and Dragons with him, he, they will be fine. And he's going to wine and dine her and just spoil her and just treat her so well, because I think that that's in him. Um, I think they both want a kid, so that's not going to be a problem. So hopefully, you know, they don't have any honeymoon babies or anything like that. But I think that they will be, I think that they will be pretty good together. They, he, She would just have to really accept his quirkiness. And I think if she could do that, this would be a great relationship. So let's see what the cards have to say. Four of Diamonds. So Four of Diamonds is telling me that there's a lot of stability around their finances. So finances is not going to be a problem for them. Um, it doesn't appear it's going to be... Um, it's going to, I mean, I, don't, I think that they're going to have a very stable life financially. Um, I don't think that's going to be their issue. Like I said, I feel like their only issue is going to be her accepting his quirkiness and maybe him being okay with her being a social butterfly. If they can compromise on those two ends, and I think they will be a great solid couple. I think they'll be a solid couple. So um again my that's the last couple so my my tally would be hmm. this is how y'all um initially i'm gonna put it down that justin and alexis no Deja and um, Stacia and Nate, no. Mitch and Kristen, yes. Uh, Miguel and Lindy, 
You know, I'm gonna have to treat it like spades. Yes, and a possible. I don't know. I don't know. What am I missing? Um, Morgan and Ben. I think it's going to be a no, y'all. I think it's going to be a no. I, I, I don't know. I'm not getting the most warm and fuzzy with them. So I got three no's, one yes, and a possible. We gonna see y'all. Um, thank you for tuning in to my video. Um, this is my first review, and it should be a review. Um, more reviews to come. I'm working out the kinks, um, so it's gonna be a lot different once I get editing down and all that stuff. But until then, you know, support your girl. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell for when my videos come. Um, follow me on Instagram. April underscore D underscore Harrison. Um, again, I do readings. I do, I do love readings, purpose readings, clarity readings, human design readings. Take a um, look in my bio and you'll see a synopsis of each one. And peace.